So as we can see, functions in Python can be picky about what the number and kinds of things that we pass into them. Sometimes we can solve these problems by turning one kind of an object into another. So for example, if I uh, create a string composed of the characters four and two, uh, so I'm gonna do that and then have the computer print it and tell me what kind of thing it is. Then there is a function called int, and the function int takes a string and tries, if it is able, to turn it into an integer number. Uh, if it's able to do that, then that number is the return value from the function, which we can then assign into another variable if we want, and then print it out and print what kind of thing it is. So let's go ahead and run that. So here, if you notice, if I say print the value of a string, it looks like 42. And if I say print the value of a number, it also looks like 42, but this 42 and this 42 are not the same thing because the first one is a string, but the second one is a string that I've turned into a number. And this turns out to be useful because it's the solution to the problem that we had with the input function. If you remember, the input function always outputs a string, but if we want the user to put in numbers, maybe we want to do something with it, like some mathematical calculations, we can take the string that comes out of the input function, and then we can pass that into the int function. And if it is a number, if, if it can be represented as a number, then the return value of the int function will be a number, and then we can do things to it like addition. So let's go ahead and run this. What is your number? Five. Your number plus two is seven. Okay, that's awesome. So uh, one, so a couple things to notice here about this print statement. One thing is that the print statement can take more than one argument. So if we put several arguments in the print statement, it will print each of them separated by a space. So, um, so I'm asking it first to print this literal string here, which it printed right here. And then the comma automatically leaves a space. Um, and then I ask it to print my number plus two, which is right here. So I can have it print two things. The other thing is that I can actually, um, the thing, the argument that I pass into the print statement can be an ex not just a variable or literal, but actually can be an expression. So this is an expression that's composed of both, uh, of both a variable and a literal here. So it goes ahead and does the addition operation on them before it passes it into the print function and then puts the answer on my screen. So we'll talk a little bit more about operations in the next section. But let's go ahead and try running this again and see if we can cause problems. So um, let's try putting in, what is your number? My number is dog. Okay, Python is not happy because I cannot take the string dog and turn it into an integer number. Uh, so that's a problem. Let's run it again. Let's try uh, 3.14. Oh, also uh, it threw a fit because 3.14 is a fractional number. It is not an integer number. I can actually fix that though because there's another function called float. And if I do that and run the code and type in 3.14, it's totally good with that. I can see there's a little bit of rounding error here, but it's basically added two to my floating point number. So Python is like totally cool with adding together an integer and a floating point number. It just knows that it needs to turn the answer into a floating point number uh, before it prints it out on the screen.